in Rwanda. I mean, I won't call this place Rwanda, I'll call it home because this is my home. This is the country that changed my life. The first time that I came here, when I had the dream of traveling Africa to promote Africa in a positive light. I mean, you can only see this in Africa. I shared a dream with so many of my friends and they never believed in the dream. <coughs> so I had to take a loan. And Taking a loan, traveling within Africa, you know how expensive Africa is. Then I found myself in Rwanda. Did you guys see how super clean Kigali is? <laughs> I am Maya, seeing, is believing. And I was like, you know what, I need to do something crazy. I had to sit in a gacha, just to say Rwanda is the cleanest city in Africa. And that video exposed me to the world. This, this is, is the craziest thing I've ever, ever done, done in, in my, my entire, entire life. life. But I'm not scared because, because I'm in the cleanest city in Africa. Africa. This, this is Kigali. Kigali. Look, at, Look me. at me sitting inside a gutter eating, eating without, without thinking, thinking of getting, getting sick. This was the exact same words in 2019 when I did that crazy video. And that crazy video really changed my life. And I'm so glad that I came back here. But listen, it's been three years. And the gata even looks cleaner. This time around, I'm not eating because fantastic restaurant is closed down. I think they, they, they broke the entire building down because that's exactly the same place that I bought the food. So I had to get myself samosa. Actually, my favorite person from Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Kenya is definitely not my favorite country to be. Oh wow! I, I love Kenya. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. I love the Luos and the Kikuyus. <laughs> I love the Kalenjin. <laughs> but I'm personally Kikuyu. You know that? Huh? I'm Kikuyu. <laughs> You're fancy. Yeah. No, no. I'm Kikuyu. Kekondi, I'm Kikuyu. I'm Kikuyu because Kekendi. I know that. Oh wow! Sekendi Takradi, right? Exactly. The reason why I'm saying that I'm Kiki, the fact that Kikis are more entrepreneurial. They love business, they love money, and I love yeah. money so much. Oh. So that's why I'm Kiki. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't speak big English like the laws, like the Professor Lumumbas. The French Sudan, or what we now called, we call Mali, regained her independence. They signed a pact to create what they call the African Union. They thought at that time that that would be Africa in her embryonic days. I, I, you, you know that my English is not on point. Trudy is actually law, so tell it, give us some law big English. Where do I start? Um, for example, I can say we are here in Kigali, the sun is you know, shining for me, it's penetrating my skin. <laughs> And uh, I'm trying to think of all the luo. Hey, luo. You know, it's not easy to be luo. This thing is not easy. You have to. I have to sit down. You just, you just shocked. You just bombarded me. Do you get? Luos are not bombarded. We are. Uh, we told in advance, so we plan. No, that, that, that's a typical luo. Even though she thinks it's an African cocktail, but I think she's more luo than. Kikuyu. Nah, 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 nah. I'm Kenyan cocktail. Okay. Got some luo in me. Got some kikuyu in me. Got some luya in me. Boo. Oh wow! Yes, you marry Kenya cocktail. <laughs> so, why do you love Rwanda so much? Wow, that's a tough question. I love this country because this country feels at home. Mm -hmm. I love this country because the people of this country really love what I do and really appreciate my work. Guys, I like this man. 
And it gave you your viral video. I, I think I, I even told people that this country is actually the country that changed my life. Aww. Because my first ever viral video, the, when I sat in the gutter to eat, that's when the video went viral. And everyone got to know who Wadamai was. Mm -hmm. And that was the time that, you know, I told you that I actually collected loan to travel oh, within yeah. Africa mm -hmm. when I met you, right? Mm -hmm. So a big shout out to Awe. It's been long, man. How are you doing? My one and only Chinese friend who gave me money to what? buy tickets to come to Africa. Mm -hmm. It was a loan. And that video that I did from Rwanda. It made you enough money to pay back the loan. Oh, and wow. when I pay the loan, that, that's why I keep on saying that Rwanda means a lot to me. But apart from that, Rwanda is so clean. Mm -hmm. And I love cleanliness, even though personally I'm not clean. <laughs> <laughs> I love countries that are well organized, even though I know that my life is not organized. You know that, that's why I have it in my life, to organize my life, man, because I want to be like Rwanda. So that's why I have hair. I, I, I love I love countries that I don't know when the system works, you know. Yeah, I, I get what you mean because uh, when you're in Rwanda, you feel it's a different vibe, you know. Everything is so organized, everything is so clean, and you can't help but wish that every African country would emulate Rwanda, you know. I, I, th I think uh, every African country, Rwanda should be more like a model. Yeah, to them. big brother, so we like follow Rwanda. Exactly. Which is weird because Rwanda is so young, but then it should be like our big brother. Yeah, they, they really have a better history and I'm so glad that the leadership of this country has, has been able to turn things around. Yeah. See, if you have never been to Rwanda, I'm just going to encourage yeah. you. Rwanda should be your top, among your top five countries to visit in Africa. Just come and see Rwanda for yourself and I believe that you would definitely love Rwanda. Man. I agree. I mean, uh, there's this guy who came here yesterday and he was like, he can't believe this is an, a country in Africa. He <laughs> said, are we in Europe? I'm like, no. It's like man. Singapore. He, yep. And I think um, yesterday I was even watching the news and I saw President Kagame in um, Singapore. Mm. Yep. We've been to Singapore. Of course. Hey. Singapore is I, our first country together. Out and, of I, and I think we did a video comparing Rwanda to Singapore. Yeah. That was like 2019. Mm -hmm. Wow, we've come from far, yeah, big. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's more like um, we've been projecting Rwanda in the positive light for a very long time to the yeah. extent that we even went to Singapore to compare both Rwanda and Singapore. And you'd be surprised, they are so similar. You know, when you, you see that when you go to Singapore. Let me tell you first thing to um, identify that you are in Rwanda and at the same time you are in Singapore. This, black and white. The roads, it's actually the same in Singapore mm. and Rwanda. Yeah. That's a similarity. Yeah, cleanliness, you know, um, speed camera. Yep. Here yep. also, uh, do they chew in Rwanda? Do they, do they, they chew, chew in <laughs> they, don't, they don't have uh, underground trains, so I don't think uh, that. But I think plastic, yeah. bands, plastic bags are banned in Rwanda. Plastic bags are banned in Rwanda. Rwanda. I think when you compare all African countries, the closest to Singapore is definitely Rwanda. No, I, I think they, they got a model from um, Singapore. Singapore. Yeah. But I don't want to talk too much about Rwanda. I think I need to. I have only two hours more in. Rwanda after our watch show last night. That was amazing. Man. Oh I'm my so proud of you, Oh my goodness. That you deserve it. You know, you're an inspiration to almost every African content creator. You know, you the reason. Um, you know, many of us got inspired to start traveling the continent to explore Africa to show off our beautiful continent to the world. You are the godfather. You know. The so way, the way you've been hyping me up. So it's true. It's, it's a fact. No, Maybe it's true. It's no. true. It's like if, it, if you've been inspired by Maya to create content around Africa, drop a who hasn't been inspired, honestly. I think we need to be honest and we need to give credit. So credit is due and you really deserved the award that you won yesterday because you're making such a big impact on the continent, not just impacting African and African content creators, but also the diaspora out of Africa to come back home. I mean, I think you're living your purpose what and you inspire what, us what every day. Why? I feel like marriage gave you the power to <laughs> hype up me more than you. No, but it's else. true, babe. It's like you're my number one fan. Of course I am. Wow. If, if, if I'm not, who will? I'm your number one fan and I'm also telling the truth, guys. You have to be honest. And then, you know, the thing is, we love celebrating people when they are gone, you know. And they say, oh, that was, you know, he did this, this, this. 
but we need to change the culture and celebrate people when they are alive you know like we need to give you flowers right now so thank you for making a big impact on the continent and i'm so glad that it's being recognized all over the world yeah. so the award you got yesterday you deserved it big time uh, the guba excellence in tourism award celebrates an individual who has positively projected Africa to the world and contributed to the development of the continent's tourism using the power of social media and digital platform. Tonight, we are privileged to present the Guba Excellence in Tourism Award to Mr. Wode Maya. Wode Maya. Excellence in Tourism Award. Wode Maya, welcome. Congrats. Uh, but all I want to say is that. If you're part of this family, I want to say thank you so much. Because without you, it definitely, Wadamaya well, won't, uh, won't be there. So I just want to say thank you so much for being part of this family. And a big shout out to Denta. Yo, you are amazing. Uh, I'm so proud of you. You have no idea how I felt when I was in the room to see the people that were present. Yeah, in the room, it was like people changing the continent in sports, in entertainment, in art every different sector you know and we're all in one room and you just feel powerful you and, know? And, and it's just one person that brought all of them together wow have and so much respect for yo denta i love you so much and i just want you to know that you have a brother right here who supports your dream keep up the good work listen like what you did makes me feel like i'm so happy to know her i know right you know what i mean me too. I, she's I, so like, humble you know? I, 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 I'm so proud of you. Yeah. If anyone knows Dent, I'm definitely not going to send this video to her. So if she sees it, fine. But if you know her, just tell her that what Amaya told you to come and tell her that she's, she's so proud of her and she's an inspiration. Man. They're so proud of you, Denta. And uh, listen, I I'm in Rwanda. And anytime I come back to Rwanda, my accommodation is always paid for. Wow, you're so lucky. I've never spent money. Do you money remember <laughs> the first time we, were, we started traveling? Jeez. Getting accommodation was a problem and we had to spend so much money on accommodation and the accommodation wasn't even good, you We've know. Suffered. Now, you come to Rwanda and they're telling you it's on us. Let's, let's, let's start out. Let's start to tell people our story. Now. Wow. I mean, just a bit of it. One to two minutes. When the first time we met in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. even accommodation in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. I think we were paying $25. And even that $25 it was difficult. It was difficult. <laughs> oh, wow. That's how we say that, that it, it, it was difficult. Mm -hmm. Right? Then from there, I came to Rwanda. My first place that I slept, they were charging $35. And it was extremely a night. difficult. Not, a not night. a week or yeah, yeah. a month. A yeah. Night. And can you believe that I arrived in Rwanda? on 14th of February and the same day because I'm paying $35 I have to step out the same day just to go and make videos because if I don't make videos I won't be able to afford or get money to pay for my bills mm -hmm. so the same day that I arrived in Rwanda on the 14th of November uh, February 2019 mm -hmm. I still have to step out and go make videos yes it's a struggle that we've been going through but, but thank God because thank things, God. things have gotten better you know there's this song yeah that I've been singing the whole of last night and I think you all need to know. Do you know how, you know the song I'm talking about? Oh, can you give me the chorus? See, See what the Lord has done. Uh -huh. See what the Lord has done. What we wait for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. I mean, some of you might think that it's all your strength, but for me, I think um, your strength and God's presence in your life makes you move forward. Yeah, like when you were in our, during our wedding, yeah. uh, the pastor who spoke said, uh, if God did not give you, you wouldn't have it. So, so everything is just by God's grace. So I will encourage you all to put God ah. first. 
All right. So we are right here at uh, Paku, of which the same person who has been hosting me anytime I come to Rwanda. fitness enthusiast like myself you want to have a broad chest like what am I you want to have like um, huge arms like what am I whenever you come in here know that parking by Radisson coach yeah I know right they have a complete gym yeah with all the facilities in here so babe you want to swim yeah Maybe let's check out the pool they got like uh, a pool right next to the gym so, so cool. as an Olympic swimmer myself, anytime I come in here, I, I swim from here to the bottom, you know, and then right from here, I just head to the gym, man. See, they also have a bath. Yep. They have this a bath. Cool. This is cool. This area, so when you're here swimming and all, Swimming. you can get yourself a drink behind here. I would love to enter, but I don't like showing off. You know, as an Olympic swimmer, I hate to show off. Because this water is not deep, it's just um, 0.4 meters. And I, I really love a pool that is like um, 10 feet. Because with Olympic swimmers, we don't joke with, I mean, 0.4 to 1.4 meters swimming pools. This is for babies, you know. So she's a baby, that's why she wants to swim in here. So anytime you come to parking by Radisson, don't forget that they got you. They got a swimming pool right here. And you know, Kigali can be cold, but Kigali can be extremely hot. Right now, as I'm talking to you, Kigali is hot. I know that the best thing to do during the hot weather is to immerse yourself in water. I can't breathe. Ah, it's so cold. Go where? In the water. I'm not going in the water. You know my motivation. Right? No, you go in it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Know that whenever you book an accommodation with parking by Radisson, you got yourself a good Wi-Fi. If you're someone who works from oh, home, the they got uh, one of the fastest internet oh, in here. Oh, man. Uh, That's actually my favorite thing about this hotel. The exactly. Wi-Fi then the food. <laughs> Yours is the food then the Wi-Fi, you know? Yep, 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 yep. So, yeah. Um, I think we need to go to the city to check it out before we go to the airport. Yeah, let's go to the city. To this part of Kigali? Yes, I think the first year yesterday. No, yesterday. I mean, the first time you came to Kigali, did you ever? No, 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 came no, no, no. <laughs> I can't even remember some looking at this. That's what I wanted to ask you. Since the last time you came here, do you feel like some things have changed? A lot has changed, man. Wow. I mean, the first time that I came to Kigali, all these places were under construction. Mm -hmm. I think they were building even this park right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was not done, it was more like covered. It's a place where people can sit and use Wi Fi for free. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a so small park. Do they have Wi Fi? I think so. I, I, I think. Oh, my the is in the car. I need to bring it. Hey, do you have Wi Fi here? You see? They have Wi Fi. They, they have Wi Fi here. My phone? So it's like people come and sit in here just to use Wi Fi. It's right in the city center. I think the last time that I came in here, it was under construction. So it, it, it's just beautiful man like all you can do is to just come in here come have a seat hi how are you good to see you so it is what it is man it's uh, a beautiful garden this is what i think we need in accra like a beautiful garden where if you just want to sit somewhere i mean think about life you can literally come and sit just look at me i just have to sit down right here and um the city right in front of me. 
right? So it's right in the middle of the city center. Um, and uh, when I came here the last time, even that building was under construction. Now it's done. This is one of the things that I really love about Rwanda, that the fact that every time you come in here, you see something different. Every time you come in here, you see changes. Every time you come in here, you see development. You see development, which means the city does not sleep. The city is always moving. Africans, we need to come in, sit down with His Excellency, just to get a model how um, he managed to do this so that some of us can build our small cities. I mean, yeah, some people will say that Rwanda is small, but can we start from our small cities? I mean, if we can do our cities like this, I think it will be awesome for so many of us, right? Well organized. People come and take photos right here in the garden. has really changed uh, I'll just tell you guys that where I am right now where I'm walking currently this place is called car free zone it's a zone within the city where I mean no car passes here it's just people businesses people minding their own businesses have you been to this place before uh, I just came here yesterday yesterday exactly so this area we call it car so this area is called car free zone the last time I came here it was not like this this is actually the place that I stood to interview one guy asking him how clean Kigali is. Mm -hmm. I, I did a video here. But it used to be a road. Oh wow. Yep, just an, just this a just clear. a tarmac road, right? But this time around, they got pavement. Mm -hmm. Photographers come here to take their photos. Yeah, people just come and chill. Well what is this? What what is this? Hi. What, what a house. A house for what? This is where People will be renting the next area. Put some business inside here. Oh, coffee, coffee. Oh, if people want to just sell coffees within the yeah. cafe zone area. Wow. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, when trust I move me, to Rwanda, me. when I move to Rwanda, I'll get it. In <laughs> but this is, this is so creative, man. You know, like, if you're a content creator, this is actually the best place for you to come and create your content. I know, right? And, yeah. Because you can just sit here and start recording and no one will, I mean, worry you, right? I mean, that's the thing about Rwanda. We haven't been disturbed exactly. so much when you're filming. Like, no, no, no filming here. No, don't. You know, it's, I find compared to other African countries, we are more free to exactly. create content. So, which is so cool. It is what it is. I like how this place looks like right now. Mm -hmm. I think they're giving a lot of people access to, I mean, enjoy themselves without hearing the horns of a car. It's just a Peace, bicycle silence. is allowed. Mm. Wow. You see, they come here to take photos. Now there's a new business here coming in. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. That's a new business coming up. So you can actually rent this place. Yeah. And then if you want to sell coffee or anything like that, you can come and do it here. That's incredible. And there's a, like the place next, next there, mm -hmm. you can go, it's like, Everyone who doesn't have an office can go there really? and just pay some small money. You have access to free Wi-Fi, you have an office. And does, and does this place have free Wi-Fi? Yeah. Can we check? I just want to confirm first. I don't, I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. go online. Let's go online. Let's see. Load. Oh, wow. Here it is. Okay. Free zone Wi-Fi. Wi yeah. Oh, wow. And it's actually connected. Oh, wow. Rwanda, Rwanda. I want to know if it's fast. It's coming, it's coming. Wow. There's free Wi Fi here. It's connected? Yeah, it's connected. It's connected. Can you guys see the cameras up there? This is the camera that monitors the entire car free zone. And in case anything happens to you, we can do this. Just come in here and then just press this red button just in case of anything yeah so rwanda doesn't joke with security this is one of the safest countries i've ever been in the entire continent and it's kind of cool to see that there are cameras protecting the people that are actually having fun in a car free zone I 
I'm at a Kigali airport saying goodbye to Kigali, and uh, guess who I met? Dennis Momata from Las Vegas and with the African diaspora of Las Vegas. It's a, it's a pleasure meeting you. Absolutely, the pleasure is all mine because yeah. you are an inspiration. You have been the, you are the only person that I've known in history. I don't want anybody to insult me. I'll say in history, who has visually given an African a visual representation of what we have. Wow. Okay? Because of that, if you talk about Mount Afadjato, it was a mystery to me. I'm a geologist, my first profession. I didn't know anything. All it was a mystery to me. Because of you, I was able to climb that mountain. Whoa, that's okay. the mountain that I climbed. Yes. Not only that, because of you, Ethiopia. I went there. I've been to Namibia. And because of you, I want to go to Kilimanjaro. Yes. <laughs> And not only, uh, you see, the thing about what you have shown, even the Zimbabwe video, I've been asking Zimbabwe to be close. And I'm looking at it like, wow, who in the history of our town is giving us such a vision to be close? Thank you. 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 I haven't seen that yet. That's, that's a beautiful message. But I, I love your t-shirt though. African Diaspora of Las Vegas. It is. This is one thing that I really love. I, I really love to see the diaspora is coming together to do something. Is that what you guys are doing? That's exactly what we're doing. We are an organization that we form by people who have a vision of coming as one to give one vote, to represent the uh, people with one voice, wow. with a common purpose. This is like reunited. After two years, we, we met right before the pandemic, right know, before right? the world ended. In <laughs> we were together. In Mozambique. And I saw, I saw Maya stressing out about the pandemic. He was like, we need to leave Mozambique now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crazy and, and I did only, I think, two videos from Mozambique. Yeah, you did two or three. Yeah. Like, so popular. I'm like, hey, I need to do videos about my country. <laughs> How come they come and make videos and they get all those views? I'm like, ooh. And why are nice. you in Rwanda now? I'm in Rwanda because I need to expand my horizons. I need to explore East Africa. Mozambique is nice, but it's too south. I want to see more of like Rwanda, Kenya, Uganda. You know, so, it's, it's East Africa season. I'm copying you guys. <laughs> so you moved in here? Well, I'm planning to move, but I'm still feeling the vibes. I love it. It's a beautiful city and I would love to stay, definitely. Please, Rwandese, make my friend's life in Rwanda. Okay, so if you want to reach out to her, check out the Instagram. Dead. Yeah, check out her Instagram, uh, go Yadamel. follow her, YouTube, go check YouTube, her YouTube, Yadamel around. Yep, and uh, what else again? You That's add it. Anything? That's it. You've been in Rwanda? I've How would you describe Rwanda. Rwanda? Amazing to feel safe and to be in such a clean place. Beautiful, beautiful job they're doing with the city. It's one of my favorites in Africa for sure. Wow. <laughs> one of her favorite and it's also one of my favorite. So yeah, it's time to head to the Rwanda airport. Is everyone's favorite right now. Rwanda is everyone's favorite there. Eh? Is Rwanda your favorite? One of them. One of them. All right, so it's time to say goodbye to Rwanda. You guys are sheep. And oh, bye Rwanda. This is my classmate from China. Anytime you see me in Rwanda, you see him with me all the time. Yeah. I've been here 10 times and even if he's busy, he has oh. to stop whatever he's doing to drive oh, me. Thank you so much. And I'm not going to pay even a dollar <laughs> because he's my rich friend in Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> See you all in the next one. My name is Mr. Ghana, baby. You're one and only. I'm not in village, but from Ghana. Rwanda is home for me, and I would love to come back again. You Peace out. You come from Ghana. Oh, yeah, bro. You watch my videos? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Wow. wow. Thank you.